Welcome back to Let's Play Okami. We have gone through Sasa Sanctuary. And I was going to dig me a hole, but I decided against it. Because I totally wasn't hitting the triangle button to cancel, which also happens to be the dig button. <coughs> now, I'm going to say, just past here is the Bamboo Forest. Which, in all of this game, is perhaps... One of my favorite areas, even though it's one of the smaller areas in the game. It's really only a couple turns. And we appear to have someone troubled up top. But first, birds. That's a funny sounding cry. But regardless, you appear troubled. What can we do to help? Okay, so we just gotta find your dog. Who also, thanks to the canine tracker, appears to be the dog we're looking for. So we're going that way. Now, we haven't really seen them much so far, but the tigers are actually yet another animal that we can feed. You feed them with, who to thunk it, meat. There were some more tigers out in Taka Pass, but I don't think I've shown you guys those yet. Just like in the bamboo, best back at uh, Mr. Bamboo's house. That one. There's a dog in it! What is with these dogs inside bamboo? How do they even get in there? Oh, I didn't do a darn thing and you know it. The next of the canine warriors. Another s something else that you'll find is that we have to fight every one of the three that we have to go out of our way to find. And that very first one we fought was kind of a warm-up for them. Overall, the fights aren't too bad, to be honest. Especially now that I've got a very powerful weapon that's nice and powered up. Yee! The dogs dig. These dogs especially dig. Your best bet is just kind of running around and waiting for him to do a little shiny thing. Actually, if memory serves, this is the one that doesn't like doing the shiny thing much. So you may just want to wait for him to land near you and then smack him. He will dig holes. He hasn't dug one in the center of the area yet. Yo! No, you don't. Know. 
Yeah, he's doing a pretty poor job of getting the hole dug on me here. But um, overall, he will dig holes. He'll dig them in the middle of the arena. And if you, he happens to dig one there, then... Um, actually, he's really putting effort into not digging a full hole. Dog down. Yeah, he was trying not to dig them in the middle of the area, but if you actually... If he digs a hole... He actually, he was doing a pretty good job of not digging any holes, really, but if he does dig a hole, you can fall in the hole, and then bad things will happen. The Orb of Duty has decided to choose us. So in that case... Well, he's kind of out of the job. Now, if memory serves, there's some more tigers and stuff around here to feed, so... And some bunnies. Bunny, 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 bunny. six for them. So that was the bunnies, and now where's the tigers? I know there's another set around here. There we are. Spawning all on top of me and stuff. Ooh, ten. Now for that, we have... They're all happy. I guess they show their happiness by being appearing to be angry at me. But yeah, that's the bamboo forest. Pretty small area. Very pretty area, though. But we're done in the Sasa Sanctuary. We have returned the boss's daughter. We've gotten water back in the hot spring. I don't wanna. Didn't we hear something about the festival coming up soon? I think we did. So the 100th anniversary, we already knew it was coming up soon, but it is actually right around the corner. And it will come on the festival. Yay! And you have more to say, though, if memory serves, it's pretty much a rehash of what you've already said. Kaguya. Something tells me that old man has yet more story to tell, but we'll hear more about Kaguya later. Now, the mermaid coins, wherever you see that swirling pattern, like right there on the water, you can use a mermaid corn and coin and warp between the various spots. All across the world. Personally, I don't bother with it much. But we're done in the Sasa Sanctuary, then. So we can head to the next dot on our list, 
which if memory serves, was back in the forest. So back to the forest we go. Do 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 zoom out. Yes, back in the forest. Okay, well, we're looking for a dog, and I do seem to remember there being a dog back in the forest. Coincidence? I think not. But we will discover that very momentarily. Which normally I'd cut to it because it is a little bit of a run, but uh, you know what, I'm almost there anyway, so whatever. Oh, you know what? While I'm here... These two guys. I seem to remember buying a pinwheel earlier. Why, yes it is. Bought it a couple videos ago, back when I first got to, um, Kusa Village. And then this guy... His beloved teacup. Okay, so the mischievous moles took his teacup. And this is something I am yet to cover. Actually, if we look for them, those tigers are right around here somewhere. Somewhere. You know what, it wasn't that important. The moles, on the other hand, are right over here. I'm gonna zoom out because zooming out helps considerably here. So we're getting mugged by a mole. Yeah, a mole tries to mug me, I beat him up. Now the goal here is to try to beat up the blue one, and it's nighttime. Hoyo! Hey, he has the teacup! I saw it! Now you can watch the dust cloud and see where he's gonna show up next. And sometimes it's easier to determine where he's gonna go next than others. Okay, so he's in that one, and he went to the center and then out to the side, so we have no idea. And I got lucky. Well, you succeeded. Well, I'm certainly not staying forever. I've got crap to do. Sure, I'm happy to come back and I'm happy to come back though. I will come back and visit and say hello and now I have a teacup. <laughs> 